understand that you brought a question for us to do that you're struggling with. So you want to you maybe pull up that question or read it and we can do it together? For sure. Okay, so I love scenario-based questions because mm-hmm. they not only do they challenge me, but they also give me like a real world example of what to do. Because sure. of course, my goal is to actually work in IT, not sure. just know a question and answer it. Sure. So let me do the um first question. So it says, this is from my one of my practice exams. Okay. You work for a data security firm. Mm-hmm. Your cloud deve- deployment must ensure that the company's data is always available even in the events of a natural disaster. Hmm. Which aspect of cloud computing best addresses this need? Now, there's the, here's the four options they give us. Okay, hang on. One, I want to pause this there, though. Mm-hmm. Before we get into the four options, though, a very good sort of question attack strategy is to think about and try to predict what the right answer would be. Okay. So instead of just rushing into the answer choices, you want to think about what you just read. I'm going to go word for word. Okay. Your cloud deployment must ensure that the company's data is always available, even in the face of a natural disaster. So you can start racking your brain about, well, what are the cloud deployments? What do I know about cloud security? And of course, the other big thing to take from that second half of the sentence is they care about availability. Well, well, they care about data. They care about data availability, right? Okay. For example, if you frame things in in the CIA framework, right? Yeah, you confidentiality, integrity, yep. and availability. They are asking about that last A. That's the priority, availability, right? So mm-hmm. the answer, for example, is not going to be some deployment that prioritizes encryption, right? That's not what they're going to look for. That's We're looking for availability. Integrity. Well, encryption helps with confidentiality. Oh, yeah, because oh, it yeah. helps secure stuff. Se- okay, secure. Hashing, for example, that might help with integrity because it makes sure our, okay. our data doesn't change in unexpected ways or we're alerted to when it changes in unexpected ways, right? Ah, okay, okay. So we care about availability. So when I read this question, I am singularly focused on that priority. And everything okay. else they're going to hit me with is probably just a distraction. So I am going into the answer choice, hunting for a right answer that somehow has to do with availability or supports availability. So, Jaden, I think the difference is instead of just diving to the answer choice and keep reading, we are setting ourselves up for success a little bit by trying to, you know, like Understand internalize. The question fully. Yeah, exactly. We are internalizing what, what we just said. We're trying to predict the right answer. We're going to get trapped or tricked a little less easily by the test maker if we can sort yeah. of, you know, like, like understand the question pretty well. Makes sense. All right. So now we're ready for the answer Friday. choices. I'll try that Good. on Friday. Good. <laughs> Good. All right. Now we're ready for the answer choices. You want to read A. Connectivity. Okay. What does connectivity mean? Connectivity is just, is it on or not? That's, yeah, that's pretty much what connectivity is. Is it on? Pretty much is it on or not? Okay. So I'm not sure how you feel about this, but I could see a world where connectivity is sort of related to availability, right? It's got to be on. It's got to be, you know, working. Yes, so but maybe. This, they're ta- in the question, they're talking about, one, they're talking about security. And two, they're also talking about in case of a natural disaster. Let's say your business got knocked down. And let's say you're a multimillionaire, that, that the building is no problem, cool, but you have a whole bunch of lost data now that's making you that money. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna wonder, oh, is it connecting? That's, that, that, that's, that's stupid, it's not connected, it's destroyed. But <laughs> yeah, that's why connectivity is just not a good answer to use. Okay, okay, cool. So A is out, mm-hmm. what does B say? Replication. What is replication? Replication is just the same data, a copy. That's what I'm trying to say. A copy. It's a copy of the same data, yeah. So based on what we talked about and what, how you just define replication, what do you think about that as an answer choice? I think that would be an excellent answer choice because if everything you got got hit and mm-hmm. you have a replica, you can get right back to business. There you go. That's right. So I... If if I were you in the situation, I would feel really good about B. I'm like, okay, I got B. I felt okay about A, but did B is definitely better. And mm-hmm. now I go into looking at C and D very skeptically. And that's the type of like mindset you have. Because again, you are controlling the answer choices. You're not letting the test control you. So, all right, read C and D for us. C is automation and D is encryption. All right, so so let's let's start with D, the easy one. 
Mm-hmm. We already said that that doesn't help with that availability, right? It doesn't. It helps with, with confidentiality. Nice, nice, good. So E is totally out. And then let's go back to D, which is automation. Tell me about that one. C is automation. I'm sorry, C, C is automation. So tell me about C automation. C, let's say somebody visits your website, right? Mm-hmm. They will automatically get a session ID. Automatically. Mm-hmm. They don't have to ask for one. They automatically get one. What we're talking about is the availability of your data. So uh-huh. that doesn't really affect your availability. That affects performance, I should say. Got it. So I think if I could say this back to you, maybe what you're saying is automation is more like a process. Yes. Right? Yes. It's very and much more in a process. In this case, we're looking for like an actual deployment model, which which B would be. Yes. Um, okay, good. So let's let's check the right answer. Can you check it? What, what's the right answer? It's B. Nice. Good work. Good work. Good stuff. Okay. Yes, sir. So I think maybe you felt the difference there, right? In that multiple choice question, which was a tricky one, we mm-hmm. read the question stem. We asked about, you know, what details in the question mattered. We rephrased the question. We digested it. And then we tried to predict the right answer, which helped us. Even if we didn't get the right answer, it helped us eliminate some answer choices, right? Mm-hmm. So that's a good sort of approach where you feel more in control of the question rather than the question controlling you. Well, Jaden, I wish you the best of luck on Friday. Um, you walk in like you own it because you do. And uh, look forward to having you back to hear how you did. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jaden. Thank you for having me.